Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick. I'm now joined by a resident economist, Mark Coleman. Now, Mark, Budget 24 is just over two months away, and at this stage, both IBEC and ISME have lodged their pre budget submissions with the Department of Finance. But what do you think the government should include in Budget 24? Well, let's go with IBEC and ISME because they've come out with two very important messages. And if I had one piece of advice to Michael McGrath, it's listen to IBEC on infrastructure and capital spending, but do not listen to IBEC on current spending or the size of government. On the size of government and current spending and taxation, listen to ISME. IBEC have been absolutely right. And in fairness, Danny McCoy, the director of IBEC, has played a blinder. He has been one of the solid, consistent voices for more public infrastructure investment because he's a macroeconomist like myself and he understands that if the domestic economy is growing at the rate of the clappers, you need to be investing in houses and schools and infrastructure. Otherwise, you get capacity constraints and that leads to a cost of living crisis. So I would say that IBEC have been fantastic on that. They've also been fantastic on the all-island economy and the message would be separate the current from the capital account and don't apply one size fits all Brussels thinking to capital spending. Our economy is experiencing much, much more economic growth, much higher population growth. We need much faster rates of expansion in capital spending. I would be saying anything between 5 and 10% of gross domestic product to catch up for a lost decade. The only caveat is do we have the people, do we have the construction workers on the ground to do that, to actually absorb that? And that is a valid observation. But other than that, I would be saying open the vaults and spend the money on the capital side. On the current side, IBEC want bigger government and more spending as well. On that, I'm afraid they're wrong. Ismay are right. We need tax cuts. That's another area where I don't understand where IBEC is coming from. IBEC don't want tax cuts. We desperately need tax cuts. I think a problem difference between the two bodies is Ismay represents the front line small business. SMEs, hard-pressed micro-enterprises really at the vulnerable end of the economy where let's say that IBEC represents the more comfortable semi-states. I think RTE is in IBEC and some of the larger multinationals are in IBEC. So those are people who probably would like a tax cut but don't see the necessity of it. So the clear message I would say to Michael McGrath is listen to IBEC on capital spending and open the vaults, but listen to Ismay and small business on tax and spend, uh, on current spending. And I think on tax, we will see some tax cuts. I think we'll see cuts of the order of $2 billion, and I think it'll be for political reasons rather than economic reasons. I think the mood of taxpayers has been decisively changed by the RTE revelations. I'm not sure they'll have much more impact in terms of reforming RTE, but it has absolutely produced a sea change of taxpayers. Taxpayers are totally fed up and they want to see a lot of their money being given back to them because they do not trust the system anymore. Well, if you've just tuned in, that was our resident economist, Mark Coleman. And Mark will be joining us again on next Saturday's programme. Southeast Radio's Business Matters with Carl Fitzpatrick.